Hi again everyone, in today's Biblical Cities of the Holy Land video, we will take a look at the Old Testament city of Gibeah. The Biblical city of Gibeah is located in the hill country of Benjamin. Gibeah, which name means hill in Hebrew, is distinguished from other Jewish cities of the same name by the names Gibeah of Benjamin in Judges chapter 20 verse 10 and Gibeah of Saul in 1 Samuel chapter 11 verse 4. The site of Tel El Ful is commonly identified as the ancient location of Gibeah, though some do dispute this identification. However, Josephus in his book, The Jewish Wars, Book 5, Passage 47, mentions that the city of Gaboth Saul, or Gibeah of Saul, where the Roman 10th Legion camped during the siege of Jerusalem in 70 AD, was located roughly 30 furlongs, 8 furlongs equals 1 mile, away from Jerusalem. This distance corresponds well with the location of Tel El Ful, as it is located about 4 miles, 6.5 kilometers, north from Jerusalem, which is roughly 30 furlongs away from Jerusalem. The site of Gibeah is most famous in the Bible for being the hometown of the first king of Israel, Saul, and the location of Israel's first royal capital, which can be found in 1 Samuel chapter 10 verse 26. Later on, seven of Saul's sons were also hung at the city by the Gibeonites, according to 2 Samuel chapter 21 verses 6 to 9, after the death of Saul, during the reign of King David. It was also at Gibeah, before the time of Saul in the times of the judges, that one of Israel's first civil wars was fought at the city, which event can be found recorded in Judges chapter 19 and 20. The city is also mentioned in the prophetic books of Isaiah and Hosea. On the top of the hill, there is what is thought to be an Iron Age fortress structure, which apparently had at least one defensive tower incorporated into its design. This is thought by many to have been built by King Saul during his reign as King of Israel, though some do dispute both this identification and claim. Unfortunately, the remains of this structure was either permanently lost or heavily damaged when in 1966, King Hussein of Jordan began to build a new palace on top of the location of the structure. However, when Jordan lost control of the region after the Six Day War in 1967, the building of this palace was abandoned, though the skeleton of the structure still remains on top of the hill where the Iron Age building once stood. The site continued to be inhabited until the 6th century BC, when it was then abandoned. It was then later re-inhabited during the later Greek and Roman periods, until the latter part of the 1st century AD, when it was abandoned permanently. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe for more new videos every Friday.